So let's look at the expected value of a play in this game called Roulette. In Roulette, there's a board you place your wager on where you have numbers 1 through 36 and then 0, and apparently in the American version, there's also a double 0. So half of these numbers, 1 through 36, are going to be red, the other half are black. 0 and double 0 are neither red nor black. So the way this works historically is you'd have a big wheel, and the wheel would spin, the little ball would bounce around, and whatever number it ended up with was the number that won. And so you just look at that and figure out if you won or not. Um, they've sort of replaced all the wheels these days with digital representations instead, and I put a link on D2L, an optional article you can read explaining why that is. But for here, we can calculate the probability of winning on red. So hypothetically, each of these numbers, 1 through 36, and the zeros is equally likely. There are a total of 18 red numbers out of a total of 38 possible outcomes. So your probability of red is a little under 50%. Probability of black, same thing, it's 18 out of 38. And then 0 or double 0 is 2 out of 38. Um, and you can see these probabilities add up to 50%. So what we're going to look at is placing a $10 bet on red. Now the payout for red is 1 to 1. So if you win, you win the amount that you bet. And if you lose, you lose your bet. So to figure out the expected value, we'll make a table of outcomes. So you either win $10 or you're out $10. There's no other options there. The probability of winning $10 is just the probability you won because red came up. And negative $10 means you've lost. So it'd be either of these two, or you could just do equals 1 minus this, um, because that gives you 100 total percent probability, which represents all of your outcomes. And then to calculate the expected value, you can do this, x times p of x, and just multiply these two just applying the, the expected value formula. So you do that, copy paste the formula down, and then add those up. And you get negative 5263, which now these are dollar amounts. So if we format these as currency, no, I don't like that. I want currency. There we go. And I'll put this as currency as well. I'll make negative 53 cents. Um, there's actually a faster way to do this if you find this whole making the extra column and then adding thing tedious. Excel has a built-in command to do this in one step. It's called sum product, which if you remember the, the formula for expected value, it is the sum of the products. So that kind of makes sense with the Excel name. But you could do sum product and then select your outcomes, comma, select your probabilities, and it'll do this in one step for you. Um, but it's basically doing the same thing here. This sum proc formula is multiplying each of the rows, and then it's adding those up. But it's in one convenient command if you want to use that instead. But either way you calculate it, you get negative 53 cents. So on average, a $10 bet on red loses 53 cents. Whoops, not $53, loses 53 cents. So... If you keep betting over and over and over again, you know, sometimes you're up 10, sometimes you're down 10, but on average, you lose 53 cents. And that's usually what's known as the house advantage. Like, you know, it's not even odds to win. The house, given enough people playing this over and over again in an unbiased system that's truly random where no one can predict the outcomes on the table, means that, you know, the house is going to lose some money, but overall, they're going to come out ahead in the long run. And that's sort of the you know, the way casinos make their money. 